Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, the latest small diaphragm microphone from Rode, the TF5. To learn more about the TF5 or any other Rode product, visit Sweetwater.com or contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Today we're checking out the TF5, the latest small diaphragm condenser microphone from Rode. Now this is a very high performance microphone, outstanding audio quality, outstanding specs, and it works extremely well for all types of acoustic recording, as well as drum overhead, a spot mic, really a versatile microphone that can shine in a lot of situations. The TF5 is available in a stereo pair, so I have two microphones, it includes two clips, a very versatile stereo mounting bar, as well as two windscreens, so it's a complete package that gets you going right out of the box. This is an externally powered condenser microphone, so you do need phantom power, and it draws about 7 milliamps of power. It's a little bit more current draw than many other microphones, but that extra current translates into better sensitivity, lower noise, and lower distortion. When we look at specs, the TF5 comes in about 14 dBA of self noise. This is very low. It's also about 6 dB hotter than other similar microphones. That translates to very low noise performance as well as very low distortion. And that's been a design hallmark of this microphone from when they started working on it about five years ago. They collaborated with prolific award-winning classical music engineer Tony Faulkner. That's the TF in the TF5 name. And he had very specific concerns about this, that it'd be very transparent, that it'd be very low noise, and that the off-axis response be very consistent. They've achieved all those parameters with a brand new capsule. Now, this capsule is actually manufactured to submicron tolerances, so it's very consistent. When you get a stereo pair, the differences between the two microphones is just going to be a fraction of a dB. Unlike many similar small diaphragm microphones, the frequency response of the TF5 actually reaches down to about 40 Hz, so you get very full bottom end response even when you're miking from a distance. Proximity effect is very well controlled, so it works great as a spot mic. But it's on the top end where things really open up. Some small diaphragm microphones have a distinct peak in the 8K, 68K range, and this can sometimes translate into harshness. With the TF5, there's a very gentle lift, about 2 dB, starting at around 10 kilohertz. And this just opens up the top end detail, adds a little bit more air into the sound. It's a very pleasant, very warm, very open sounding microphone. The TF5 is finished with a proprietary matte black ceramic finish. This makes it very unobtrusive visually, makes it great for on-camera applications. The stereo bar can be set up for a wide range of different stereo miking techniques, everything from XY to ORTF and everything in between. For the recording of my Monrad classical guitar that you're hearing in this video, we placed a stereo pair of TF5s in an XY pattern in front of the guitar. The signal was routed into a Millennia HV3C microphone preamp, from there straight into a Universal Audio Apollo Audio interface, and then into Pro Tools. TF5 comes in around the top of the line for Rode microphones, but it's an outstanding microphone that offers performance that definitely is the equivalent of any microphone in the same price range. Delivers lower noise, higher output, that nice open top end, as well as full low end that really gives you a great sound no matter what you're recording. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.
Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.